Hi everyone, it's Bridget, and today I'm here with my very first book haul. I am so excited for these books. I've accumulated these books in the past few weeks, so I'm just going to jump right into it. So the first book I got is Anna and the French Kiss. I've heard so many good things about this book. Christine keeps talking about it, and I'm in the middle of reading the Mortal Instruments series slash uh, the Infernal Devices, so I think I'm going to need this book at the end when I jump into my morning period. So I'm so excited. It seems like a really cute story and it's just the perfect, the perfect summer read. The next book I got is a really loved book by pretty much everyone that you see on booktube. And it's Eleanor and Park by Rainbow, Rainbow Rowell. And it's about, I'm, I don't want to know too much about this book, so all I know is about this girl called Eleanor and this guy called Park and somehow they fall in love with each other and that's all I know about the book, that's all I want to know about the book because I don't like going into books knowing too much about it, it kind of ruins everything. So I'm super excited to read this book and I got the collector's edition. So this is super cool and what's different about this book, it says that there is a special edition includes fan art and exclusive Q&A with the author. So inside the jacket you open it and there's this fan art with like Eleanor and Park and even in the back and in the back you have these really cool, cool pictures. Oh, I'm so excited. And the cover just has ENP engraved in it. I don't think you could see that. It's really dark. But, oh, and I love the spine on this book. It's so cool. I love the gray and the blue together. It's so beautiful. And I'm super excited to read this. And I'll let you guys know what I thought about it. The next book I bought in at the end of May is the Bible of all books. It is the most anticipated book of 2014. And that, my friends, I think you already know what it is. City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. Oh my gosh. This, this book, look at the size of this book. It's incredible. There's, I don't know how many pages there are in this. There are. There are 725 pages to this Bible of a book. I am so excited to get to this book. I am on, I just finished City of Glass and I, and I just started um, Clockwork Angel last night. So I'm so excited to get to this big finale, this Bible of a book. And on the inside jacket, if you do not want to be spoiled, I haven't looked at it because I don't want to know anything about the end of this book, but there is a graphic design inside the jacket of this book and I know some people have been spoiled by it, so I do not want to look at it. I don't want to know what's going to happen at the end, obviously. So I'm so excited to get to this book. And oh, it's just so big. Like, holy cow. Oh, it's so exciting, man. That's cool. I don't know what that is, but that was cool. Oh! Oh my god. There is a Dark Artifices preview in the at the end of this book. I had no idea. Oh my god, that is so exciting. Next I have three books that pretty much everyone's already read and I'm kind of late on this because I only started the, Mo the Mortal Instruments series this year, like a month ago. So the other day I ordered these books online and they finally arrived last night and they are the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. These books, if you didn't know, they tie in with the Mortal Instrument series. So the way that people say that you should read them is you read City of Glass, Ashes, and oh, sorry, City of Bones, Ashes, and Glass, and then you go Clockwork Angel, City of Fallen Angels, like the way that they came out basically. So uh, yeah, that that's pretty exciting. I am certainly going to do book talks for all of these books. Oh my god. More Shadow Hunter World? I, I, I can't explain how happy I am right now. Okay, okay, okay. Next I got the third and fourth book in the Heroes of Olympus series. You have Mark of Athena and The House of Hades by Rick Riordan. And these are really cool. I, I really like them. Um, I have 
The Lost Hero and The Son of Neptune. I only read The Lost Hero because then I bought the Mortal Instruments series, so I had to stop reading that to start the Mortal Instruments. So once I'm done those, I'll re I'll re return to these babies. So yeah, I'm really excited to read these because the Blood of Olympus is coming out in October, so I am stoked for that. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're, we're gonna attempt this. I don't know how well this tower is gonna go. It's my first one, so don't judge me. Can we just talk about how beautiful these covers are? Like, look, look, look at that, man. You can't have a more beautiful cover on a book. It's just not possible, okay? Okay. So, I don't know if you can see all these, but these are my... This is my first book haul, and I'm super stoked to start reading all these. I'm already on, which one is it? Clockwork Angel, where is it? Right there, this one. I'm starting it and I'm so excited. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!